Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. Today I'm going to be going over how to hopefully resolve the PNP detected fatal error that results in a blue screen on Windows 10. I believe this problem is also persistent on earlier versions of Windows as well. So um, just the first thing we want to do in order to resolve this issue is we have to load the troubleshooting tools that are built into Windows 10 for issues such as this. So please keep in mind you actually don't need a CD or DVD to get to what we're about to do. Um, basically all you have to do is just make sure you turn off your computer, like do a hard power off three times in a row. Or I'm assuming a lot of you guys have probably done that anyway and you've actually gone into this screen because Windows will automatically try and launch the automatic repair tool after three unsuccessful boots or if the power is interrupted or something along those lines where there's a hard power failure. So basically, um, once we get to that point, anybody can get to the screen, by the way, you don't need a CD, like I said. Um, you're going to get this notification saying your PC did not start correctly. So we're going to select the right option here that says Advanced Options, and we're going to left click on that. Underneath Choose an Option, we want to select the Troubleshooting tab in the middle. I'm going to left click on that. And then underneath Troubleshoot, left click on Advanced Options. Okay, so underneath Advanced Options, you want to left click on the System Restore tile at the top left here. It says Use a Restore Point recorded on your PC to restore Windows. So select that. So then you'll get this new window saying Restore System Files and Settings. Select Next. Select a Restore Point on your computer, preferably one that's somewhat recent. Once you selected the current restore point, left click on next. And at this point you just confirm your restore point and then left click on finish here. Please note that once you start the system restore process, it cannot be interrupted. So select yes. Okay, we can see the System Restore has finished here, and it was completed successfully. Your documents have not been affected. Please click the Restart button to restart your computer. So at this point, left click on the Restart button, and your computer should restart, and hopefully you should not be getting this error alert anymore. So I hope this tutorial helped you guys out, and I will catch you in the next tutorial. Goodbye.